Hey everyone, it is time for some more first reactions. This time I am covering the metal releases that I got to that were released on Friday, March 10th. So I got the five releases this week and let's go on. So Judiciary is a metallic hardcore band that I like a lot. I like their first album a lot. They're from Texas. They're out on closed casket activities, and I will say, I did not really enjoy the first few singles from this album, so I was, I had mixed expectations after the first two singles, and I will say that my expectations were continued, continued to be sort of um, disappointed, so I give it a 7.10, it's not a bad album, this album is less hardcore this time. It's groovy, it's thrashy, it's metalcore, um, replete with even some kill switch engage type atmosphere. So 2004, 2005, mainstream metalcore. I think that's the vibe that Judiciary is going for. Mixed with Power Trip, modern thrash, uh, mid aughts metalcore. The final track is messy and it has this unearth style cleans. Yeah, a bit disappointed. 7 out of 10 for me this time for Judiciary. Next up, Quayland with, with Siva Hill Jesus. And they are, this is a band from Norway. And this is punkier, crusty, crusty, uh, Sort of a punky, crustier aura, if you know the uh, black metal atmosphere, black metal band from from Switzerland, with raw production, uh, trim picking plus fretboard exploration are top notch here. The dark trim melodies carries the bulk of this, but the drum performance is the quiet MVP. I would say. I think of Deva, Iskra, and Malist as well when I listen to this album. Crusty, punkier, black metal here. I give it a 7.7 .7 out of 10. I like this. I plan on revisiting like, revisiting it very soon. And yeah, a good quality listen if you like punkier, almost lo-fi, not quite raw, black metal. Up next, now this is a surprise inclusion on this list. I had no expectations of listening to this album, and the reason I listened to it was because Necrotic Nick and Jam and John gave it a pretty strong review on Thralls of Metal, and I was intrigued by it. I actually listened to this album four times, so here's how my experience turned out. The first listen, I gave it a 7.1, which again, my decimal system means 0.1, means I'll probably give it another listen sometime soon but I found just a couple of hours after I listened to it because it was short enough I was like yeah I kind of want to give it another listen see if I like it even more than I than I thought I did after that second listen I I was really impressed I kind of actually I gave it an 8.5 on Twitter because yeah I was really impressed this might be the best deathcore album I've heard because it's it's close to death metal right um it has pummeling, memorable riffs. The breakdowns are actually used sparingly and tastefully. It has interesting songs. Almost a diamond eyes type groove. Uh, Eddie's vox, Eddie's vocals are probably the low point. I do like when he does his low gutturals. So after four listens, I kind of tampered down my expect my my excitement for actually enjoying a deathcore album for the first time in years. After four listens, I give it an 8 out of 10, which is very, very good. That is a very good rating for a deathcore album. This is almost death metal. This is uh, the peak of the genre, in my opinion. So next up, we have Astriferous with Pulsations from the Black Orb. This is a band from Costa Rica. This album has eight songs, 34 minutes and 20 seconds. And 
I, I like the name here, right? So I was doing like a prefix, suffix, kind of uh, uh, etymology sort of breakdown of the term. And basically the name means full of star stuff, which is cool, right? This album is really good as well. Uh, I hear a little bit of Blood Incantation, Nile, Astral Tomb. This is very interesting cosmic death metal. It has the heaviness of sedimentum. It's great when it gets super slow and doomy, which it ends up doing towards the back half of the album more than the front half. Great cover art by Jason Barnett, who did the cover art for Maul's Seraphic Punishment last year. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to listening to this, uh, this album again very soon. 8 out of 10 for me. Okay, Bastard Grave Vortex of Disgust. I believe this is their third album. They're from Sweden. Eight tracks, almost 39 minutes of music. Didn't get a very strong review in Decibel or Angry Metal Guy. And I think this album's very good. First listen, I think it was an 8.5. I did listen to it a second time uh, this morning, and I fell a few points. It is very, very... I don't want to say derivative in a bad sense, but I kept thinking of a lot of similar riffs from a lot of similar bands. Under Gang comes to mind. Autopsy comes to mind. But I like the little tags, the little dissonant guitar bends, pull-offs, however they are creating these sounds. The riffs are memorable. Sometimes it's a bit generic. That's why it fell a bit for me. Uh, I can see this album going down a few more notches if I end up just, if I, I can just see that, but I, I also can see it going back up depending on the mood. The production is great. Kind of sounds like Grave, but I also think of Phobophilic. Um, more Biffic comes to mind, so less Swedish for me, even though they're from Sweden. And 